<gasps> no one's in the market again. Something yeah. is amiss. Welcome back to the basement. We found the alchemist in the desert. Yes, here he is. Let's talk to him. Uh, see what he's got to say. Okay, which, uh, uh, I'll be the guy. Oh, boy, it's a hot one today, isn't it? And the bad bugs are out, too. What you need is some help, and I'm prepared to give it to you. Woohoo! This is Call formula meats. called stink. Yeah. Give you the edge over nasty critters. Uh, Heck yeah. Are you doing something? No. Were you holding the button? Uh, maybe on accident. Um, sting. Sting target enemy. So it unleashes bees. <laughs> oh. It's pretty funny. Uh, and that's all. I hope you're using it your It unleashes well. bees? Yes. Your mortal fear. All right, now you need to talk to him. Or I need to talk to him. Okay. Uh, aha. Okay, here we go. You made it all the way out here on this hot sand. You're a tough little dog. I'm going to give you a new collar so that you have protection from mean critters. Spiky collar! That's great, because you've needed it for some time. i tell you what. Um, here's how I do it. 5 to 42? Yes, please. Holy butt! Yeah, well, you only have one piece of one piece of armor. Okay, now we have to run all the way back down so that we can uh, get a lift from the boat captain. Should we meet people back at the bottom of the no. desert? This is fun. We'll hoof it together. Remember in Five o Goes West when uh, American Tale Two Five o Goes West when he rides one of those sagebrush all the way through the desert? It's possible I haven't seen that movie. What? We should do a Let's Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand. It's true. If you don't know what Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand is, um, some other time when you're not busy watching the basement. Check it out. It's pretty clean too, right? I don't remember it being really dirty. Uh, should we save? Uh, yeah. Let's save and yeah. save with blimp. Yeah, save. Shortcut to blimp. <laughs> this doesn't hurt you at all. No. Man, what a good guy blimp is. I know. He's all like, "Hey, I care about you. I I hung this head on the wall after you killed it. You killed it, just to gloat." But hey, you know. I'll nurse you back to health, kind of as a reward. I brought mud peppers. You're gonna need them. Mud peppers sure were a pain in the butt, weren't they? Oh, that was annoying in the first world. Okay, so we have amulets of annihilation. I hey, think in the market. you want a lift? You got an amulet of annihilation? Oh, I'll buy it at a high price. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you aboard the non-stop shuttle to Nobilia, the little jewel of the Desert of Doom. On your left is a large expanse of sand, rocks, and scrub weed. A large expanse. While you're enjoying your stay in Nobilia, you can shop for goods, armor, or charms in the Bargain Bazaar. Quote, unquote. While we make our approach to the city, please return to your seats, tray tables, to the upright positions. Remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. <sighs> How does the skeleton talk? Uh, demon power. Oh! That was yeah, my guess. Yeah, it's simple. Duh. Uh, demon power? It's, uh, That's gonna clean. be my answer. To every question I don't know the answer to, I'm gonna answer with that. Demon really power. <gasps> no one's in the market again. Something yeah. is amiss! See, I wonder... I wonder if we can't lift that rock in front of Tiny and make him... Throw it in the air? Yeah. Like you just don't care. Maybe later in the game. Yeah, I bet he'll be hanging out by that rock. Wait, is that where the rock is? No, he won't be. Well, I pff, don't think so. We could mess with the chickens again. We could save. Oh, yeah, mist yeah. could save. Yeah, <laughs> mist could save. Man, that would be a great game to do. I mean, we we beat it pretty recently, but we didn't let's play it. That'd be yeah. Fun. I don't know. I feel like we should play something that. We haven't played in a long time. When Ted says that game, he's referring to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I could go for a while with that. Oh, oh, this looks important. Looks like, like looks we're like a little, little too late, late sponge. sponge. Oh, <laughs> Let's both read it. <laughs> uh, 
I will now command the ancient world with supreme power, for I have the diamond eyes of the sacred dog statue. That guy takes himself way too seriously. Like Emperor Zorn in Acropolis Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor Zorn. That'd be a good Whoa, obscure name. Oh, snap! He looks friendly. <laughs> You ever known dogs that just look friendly Let like that? Let the menacing begin! Whoa! Oh dear. What is happening? Look at that. Explosion. Why is ever What?! Yeah, that doesn't quite make sense. There's a cool boss though. He, um... Uh... What's showing? Oh my goodness! I can't... Beat him? Beat him? S Something about what's... Oh, you can attack him at certain points, but not right now. But, like, something about the medallion on his head is, uh... Okay, now that it's gone, we can attack him. I just said physically attack him with two hands. I think you did that. Now he's gonna do a dog, a different flavor dog. Uh, no, now it's gonna be something else. Like, regular enemies. Oh, skulls. Okay, I got him. I can flash. So what? What is this thing called? Aegis? Aegis? Something like that? Rock of Ages? <laughs> oh! Dude, the dog does so much damage. Yeah, the dog is pretty awesome. It's this is this is pretty fun, guys. I'm gonna recommend this co-op thing to to try it, just because um. It's a little buggy. You'll want it's to look buggy, but that's kind of... I don't know, there's something kind of fun about bugs. Yeah, you that's know, true. These days, you know, video game companies work so hard to get rid of bugs. It's kind of fun when you find one. And so, it's pretty cool that this game has some. This developer did not work very hard to... Wow, get rid of bugs in this game, I can tell you that. Oh. You, you talking about just in general with this game, or yeah. are you talking about Square the USA not? and Secret of Evermore? I mean, the patch is great, but when the game is buggy itself, it's probably really you don't you don't look to fix a game while you're making a patch for a game. You know? Yeah. Oh, I can't get both skull bugs. Did you just try to fight fire with fire? <laughs> it, hey, worked. it worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally a thing right, too. You gotta, Let's fight fire with fire. You gotta charge yep, attack? Yep, yep, I'm charged. Uh oh. Ugh. Skull. Dang it. I don't like waiting in games. I mean, at least we're fighting off other things while we're waiting. Dog versus dog. Dog didn't hit dog. Is, I guess dog on dog is better than fighting fire with fire. Well, that dog is way more intimidating than uh, you currently right now. Not doing that. How much HP does this thing have? A lot, but it doesn't seem to be doing too much to us. Yeah, kill all three. Just kill. Just kill. Let's see if you can. Uh, I'm trying to keep an eye on the old health too. Down to a. <laughs> you do 400. I'll miss. <laughs> Miss could pass. Miss could miss. What miss are these medallions? <laughs> <laughs> Quit talking about the past. Okay, sorry. Alright, you can attack. Yeah. Rough, dude. Oh! Yeah. I like how the receiving jewels note comes up on the screen before the boss actually Before explodes. you know. Like, that's your definite... Whoa, there's a little... Why is, is the axe screen? Whoa. Whoa. That, that guy was a serious head case. Ah. <laughs> There's a pyramid. And it's <gasps> moving. Oh. There's the yellow one. Good work, Land B. You saved our word from that terrible villain. He was my evil twin. A robot of some sort, I suspect. A, a robot? robot? Wait, what? He's a robot? I'm, I'm glad, glad we could help, Horace. How did... Okay, I'm why boy why would you suspect a robot of some type? The statue's energy core looks like it could be exploded any moment. We should remove it. And soon! Tiny! Tiny, come here! We need your strength! I am Tiny the Barbarian. My strength is needed. <laughs> this is true. We just said that. Why did the dog just switch from right to left and sit down again? <laughs> 
want to get a better angle. All right, that's you, Horus. Oh, we need you to throw this energy core as far as... Oh, no. I don't remember what he sounds like. <laughs> Can you do it, Tiny? I am Tiny the Barbarian. I am very strong. I can throw anything except Tiny. And... Whoa. There it goes. That, that felt good. good. Maybe he's a robot of some kind. Wait, you're making him top. Oh. <laughs> what? I assume that... The was guy reflexing. has a pretty good arm. Darn. Yes, and his heart is in the right place, too. <laughs> he's the bodybuilder with the heart of gold. Oh, <laughs> Gold's gem. Maybe that's what that's all about. <laughs> There's a little foreshadowing there, though. I suppose Sponge and I can get to Podunk from here. Yeah, we got the diamondized dingbat. I'd like to know that myself. Yeah, send us home. I, I'm not sure. It's called dementia. Full <laughs> <laughs> circle. Horus, we have important news from the camp. Already? Madronius, what is it? The explosion hit just north of the camp and opened an entrance to a very large tunnel. This tunnel may lead to the unexplored territories of Evermore. Hmm, hidden tunnel. Thank you for the news, Medronius. Well, so, see ya. This could be your answer, Lampy. <laughs> <laughs> Start uh, in a tunnel. Well, it's worth, worth a, try. a try. Before you leave, let me help you. Please take this Staff of Life. It'll increase your ability to defend against enemy attacks. Ooh, the Staff of Life. Sweet. Thanks, Horace. Let's go, Sponge. Roof! Good old sponge. All right, so now everything's back to normal. Let's see if Tiny's around. Yep. Also, we gotta talk to this guy. We must. This is just, I just get a kick out of this guy. Please adhere to the following rules of the city square. No swimming, no swearing, no laughing, no crying, no talking out of turn, no line dancing, no moose calling, no sword play, no pumpkin carving, no mummified cat juggling, no wallowing in your own self petty, no circumstantial evidence, no whacking on the grass, no pancakes on Monday, no dessert until you eat your vegetables, no sex, no comedy, no balloon animals, and absolutely positively no playing in the crater. <sighs> it upsets me. Okay. What changed what he said? Because there's a crater now. It used to be, uh, something. Yeah, it said no. The dog statue? See ya. Okay. I'm going to try picking up call beans. Did you find out where they are? I'm going to find out these statues are down by the water. Oh, that's just water. Where is it? Mm. Can you smell? Oh, yeah. I could smell. It's just water. And then... <laughs> okay, I guess wait, we can. Wait, wait, come back, come back. No one goes through the gate unless we say it's okay, it's not okay. That's the close, good clue. I foul. Thanks for that obscure reference. That obscure. But no one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeesh! Call beads aren't that great anyway. There's supposed to yeah. be some sort of trick though where you can like get a whole bunch of call beads from that kind of from there's a spot where you can pick one up and if you're fast and you keep pushing the button you keep picking them up. I don't see no rock. Ain't no rock. Where is it? I feel like the rock might be gone. Uh, we missed it. There's definitely a rock. Okay, let um up here. Try going up here. Up oh, where? What's oh, the same screen? Stupid part of it. Huh. Oh. Dang. Um, unless. Well, let's show something while we're in here. So this guy sells amulets of annihilation. Let's see what we have. Okay. Right now, if. We have an eight of them. And I have 27 rice. By the way, it costs an an amulet of annihilation to ride in the boat with the skeleton. Yes, man. to get across the desert. That's all so, they're good for, right? E no. So if you talk to this guy and he asks you if you want to purchase one, 
He'll offer you one for 30 bags of rice, which is a way better price than 10,000 jewels, which is the first time we got offered it. Remember, south of the desert? Oh, yeah, by that little shift shady guy. If you say no once, uh, he's supposed to drop his offer to 15. And he's not. Well, earlier he was dropping his offer to 15. If you keep saying no, he'll keep dropping his offer. But if you make him go below 15 bags of rice, then he won't sell you anymore. You'll talk to him and he'll say, you're too shrewd, I can't, I can't do this. So then anymore. from now on you have to walk across the desert. Yeah, then you can't buy anymore. So we still could buy him at 30, it looks like. Yeah. But he's not letting us get down huh. to 15, that's too bad. Um, I don't think there's any new stuff to buy here. I think... Uh, I'd say, uh, I'd say let's progress this plot, man. Yeah. Let's get out of this uh, historical, whatever this world was, ancient world. Uh, okay, we do have to make sure that we have enough stuff. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, because I think you use spoons. We've got four. Is that enough? Hopefully that's enough. Maybe we'll say, it, is this guy going to give us anything? Oh, let's talk to him and see if he gives us something new. He'll probably. Whoa, <laughs> that, that was binary. new. Here we go, video game. Now Don't you see? We're characters in a video game! Turn, turn them into something. This guy's a nutcase. And spare. Let's take this reward. You're a kind soul. Received a jewel. Thanks, buddy. What? Last time I talked to him and he had already given us everything he could, he just gave us uh, 500 jewels. This time he gave us one. Ah, uh, jewel. We should have turned him into a goat. Uh, yes. Yes. Hop in, Junior! Okay, so what they said was tiny through that pyramid, and it blew up somewhere, and it opened a new tunnel to unexplored areas of Evermore. Cool. So we're gonna go try and figure that out. That's, um, on the West Bank. Once again. So we'll go down, and then we'll go left. Is there anything we need to do in this world before we move on? Not that I can think of. Me. You said something about a well. Is that here? No. Next. Coming up next. Woo! I'm so excited. Hey, um, so guys. Yes. I mean, yeah. Out there, we we are trying to figure out what our next game should be. I mean, we like a lot of different games. They're all fun. We did get a suggestion on some sort of medium. Text message? Oh, you got play. <laughs> from a friend. Now I've got to cure you. Yeah. Don't get it again. Roots. Um, okay, so there's a rock up in the marketplace, and if you pick it up, Tiny comes over. It wasn't there this time, but maybe it's there earlier. Oh, okay. it makes so you can get over there. Yeah, if you use Levitate on it, Tiny comes over, and he's like, that's my rock. Nobody picks it up for but me. And he said, he says if you give him a tapestry, tapestry? Do you say tapestry or tapestry? Ta tapestry. From the market, he'll lift it for you. So you give him one, he lifts it, and he throws it, and it lands right here, and you can get across to those. That's how that works. Is there anything super awesome in them? Uh, there might be a call bead and a honey or a nectar and some ingredients. I don't know. It's not that great. But we failed. <laughs> we failed at that part of the game. Uh, um, wait. Weren't you about to say something? Weren't you asking people if... Oh, our next game. Yeah, so we're trying to figure it out. We're we're always open for suggestions. If you think you, you, there's a great game that you'd like to see us Let's Play or uh, die at really bad or, let's fail. or something like that, yeah, let us know. Uh, the more specific you are, the better. If you're just kind of like, hey, like an RPG you know, or whatever. This yeah. is the only R RPG I like. Really? No. I was going to say, you played Dragon Warrior, you've talked about, you talked about playing, uh, what's its name? Did you already break through that rock there? Yeah, we did. We got, um, no, water. Up above. Oh, there's, there's another one. Yeah, that's right, there's two. We never did. What is the other RPG up It's over here, it's to the right. It's to the right. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. You guys didn't miss oh, me. There's wax. a lot of wax in there, a lot of limestone. Can't carry any more water. Yeah, that's not actually that great. Do, 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 do. Now, I think the river's dried up. 
It is! Whoa! So, the explosion did that. This took me a long time, too, to figure out you can walk from here to here. Oh, that doesn't look like you can. Yeah, it's pretty mean. Boom! So, clap the sound of my heart. I have palpitations because I'm... You got plagued good... again? I did. I'm a dog, okay? You are I'm a dog. susceptible. What can I say? Susceptible to plague. Listen, if there's one thing about dogs... Plague never goes away. Did we share that? I looked it up. It never goes I, away. I, we figured it out because you were trying to grind that one time and it was like, it lasted forever. And so, like, I wonder if it's never going away. This is the way we go. Like, we fall off that hole. Okay. That's the way to go. However, um, that's not the only place we can go. I was going to say, I bet there's stuff. Oh, the area down that hole is confusing. I remember when I was a kid, the first thing I did was... Um, this is the pyramid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The dog, like, ran out over the edge of the cliff, but didn't fall. Because the dog is just allowed to go wherever. Yeah. <laughs> According to the game. Oh. Dead end. Uh, and I thought that was really funny. And then when I switched to the dog, I was standing on the wrong side of the cliff. Just fine. And then the boy ran over to the wrong side of the cliff, too, and didn't fall. And then so I could switch back and forth and both of us be on the wrong side of the cliff. But as soon as then I approached the cliff to try to get back on, then I fell. Fell down, down, down. Yep. It's one of those things that good old Secret of Evermore does. I always feel like I can go that way, and I can't. So why would they... Why would they put this it's in? It's so quiet here. I know. There's no music. There's no background. Jeremy Soul. Oh, here. You can go up here. Skyrim. Oh! oh. Wait, Jeremy Soul did Skyrim. Yes. I was... What? Was that? Let's go and kill those things. Okay. Quick, alchemy, quick! Lots of flame. That's probably a good idea. Kill him with fire! Lots of flame! I really wish I could do a really good impression of Master Shake from Aquaton Hunger Force. Mmm. Don't we all? Okay, I killed him. We're oh. gonna step on this teleport Wait. and see where it brings us. Yeah, let's do it! Next time in the basement. Really? Yeah. Oh, but I wanna know now! You're just gonna have to stay tuned. Um, <sighs> question of the day. Chocolate or vanilla? Totally leaving that open ended. I love that. I love that. Like we're not talking about like necessarily ice cream or like or flavors of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, I I know what my answer is. You gonna share it with us next time in the basement? Sure. All right. It's a deal. It's a date. We'll see you there. Don't be late. We'll pick you up at eight. Bye. Yeah, that was pretty good.